Welcome back to the channel everyone and thanks for checking out another video. Today is the day we wrap up the B20 VTEC build with a tune on the dyno. Check the video description below or my previous videos for a full build breakdown. I have a few last minute changes to make to prep for the dyno. I need to swap in some bigger injectors, change the oil, get some better gas, and swap in a larger intake with a velocity stack to let it breathe. For the injectors, I'm keeping things OG and going with the RC370CC injectors. They're replacing the 290cc prelude injectors I had for my LS VTEC. Doing a quick oil change, I wanted to see how much oil is collecting in the catch can after about 150 miles of brake and driving and if there's any flakes in the oil. As you can see, not much oil accumulated in the catch can and only a small amount of flakes were caught in on the magnetic drain plug which looks perfectly normal to me. Time to head to the dyno. Heading to the Sonol Superstation to get some 94 octane gas. They have all the premium fuels up to 101 octane, which is hard to find in the Bay Area. I'm going to be mixing about 50 50, 94, and 91 octane for the tune. Lawrence down in San Jose is going to be tuning the car today. He's one of the best tuners in the Bay Area and with uh, tons of experience. His shop is nice and clean, and he has a dyno jet dynamometer. My last tune on this car was well over 10 years ago with my LS VTEC setup and it put down 187 wheel horsepower with around 138 pounds feet of torque. With my mild B20 VTEC build I think it's going to be breaking into the 200 horsepower range. I have an old school Honda S100 chipped ECU that Lawrence is going to be tuning. So basically it's an old school ECU where you burn the maps onto a chip that you can swap in and out of. So without any further delay, on, on to the dyno session.
So that's a wrap for this video. Thanks very much for checking out another video, and if you like what you see, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks, see you next time.